<laughs> you see them both light up? That's unreal. I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this fucking thing. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm so pissed off! Fuck! 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 God damn it! I personally think that if all of these men are voting to take our rights away, they don't deserve to touch a woman for the next four years. So, hope you thought that through, you guys. You voted against me. You voted against my right to live. You voted against all the women and their rights. I hope you enjoy your cheap fucking gas. What the hell? You cannot be serious. How did I wake up to this... Garbage is my president. That's right. Garbage. I went to bed last night and she was ahead. I woke up to this freaking nightmare. Donald Trump? How? How? Does America have this many Nazi Hitler following pieces of trash? I thought America was already great. Kamala was had our, our had our economy skyrocketing. People were people were happy. You could feel the joy in her campaign. And then all of a sudden it's just been been hijacked by these <laughs> freaks of nature. They call themselves Trump supporters. What the Nobody wants to live in a country full of hate. It's all hate, 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 hate. Trump hates everybody that's not white. And I can't believe people of color, people of color actually voted for him. How does that happen? What, does he pay them? I'll give you some money if you vote against your own people. Who does that? This is not gonna end well at all. It is not gonna end well. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Holy oh, shit. Why, why, why? It's why, why, why? Do you really hate me that bad? Life could be worse. No, not really. What is wrong with you? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm literally sick. I'm literally sick to my stomach. What has happened to America? What has happened to democracy? What has happened to freedom? I'm done. I'm, I'm... This is a message to anyone who follows me. If you voted for Trump, unfollow me and block me. If you didn't vote, unfollow me and block me. The fact that it's this close means I've lost all hope in the American people. Like, it should not be this close. Why would anyone vote for this person? He's so evil. He's so demented. I, Kamala's not perfect. We all know that. We all know that. She is not a convicted felon, rapist, crazy, fascist, dictator, psycho. Stupid fucking whore! So I'll just shut the fuck up! I'll just shut the fuck up for good now, huh? Yeah, you fucking want that? Yeah? I don't. We are fucking over! It appears as though this gigantic piece of won the election and as much as i hate him because he's a gigantic criminal authentically horrible human being i also blame the democrats for doing this how hard is it to beat him it's not that hard he is a fake ass mother who is not a real human being he's a piece of democrats how could you not beat him why?
Could you not beat him? If this is the beginning of the downfall of American society, this is because Democrats were a bunch of This is not okay. This is not okay. This, 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 this simply will not do. And this is not okay. And I'm not good with this. This is fucking, this is sick. This is sick. That should not be there. And they're wrong. And you're wrong. And everything is wrong. And this house is not even my house. You just bought it for me and I don't want it. So like, what's the plan? Do we all just like kill ourselves collectively as a group? Just drink some Kool-Aid, just mass? Like, like what's the, what's next for us? What's next for us, the American people? Do we like wait it out? Do we just jump? Um, do If you voted for that man, if you voted for anybody other than Kamala and you live and you live in one of the states that it was, you know, close or if you didn't vote, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies. Live with that decision. Sit with it. Let it make you uncomfortable. Fuck you. Do you think you should take the signs down? If you feel like you need to go take them down, I'll go out there and help you. I'm strongly thinking about it. Okay, well, we can take the signs down. Um, I don't know. I'm just not having a really good feeling about this, you guys. And I just want to know what the backup plan is. Because surely Joe Biden, somebody surely thought they should come up with some sort of plan if he did win. So I just want to know what the backup plan is because you just went a whole year scaring the hell out of me about Project 2025. And now it's about to happen and you just think we're all just supposed to fucking go to work now? What's the fucking plan? So it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's well after both of those. And I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So if anyone wants to offer some insight, um, I'm happy to fucking take it. I just also think that maybe what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously and I don't know that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared um so yeah let me let me know I guess the crazy thing to me is that <laughs> if this guy does end up winning again all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating and everyone else everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared like we're we're scared for our lives we're scared for our friends like you have pro-life women dying because their their doctors are scared to treat them because of the repercussions of his last presidency how did we get here how did we get here to know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country? It's so terrifying. It's so terrifying. How could you do this? How can you claim to be a Christian or anyone of moral values and support someone when every word out of his mouth is to hate, when he wants to pardon people who took over the capital. Do not do this to people that you love and care about. If you have a woman in your life, if you have an LGBTQ person in your life, if you have anyone in your life who's not white. How did we get here? Someone tell me, please. Someone really tell me, please. Because the only way I see it is that like either he cheated and that was his secret, or this country is built on so much hate. And we might never get out of this. If you voted for him, you are dead to me. Go ahead and block me. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I really don't. All right, guys, it's time to go to bed. Yeah.
None of us are stressed about the election, right? It's all, if we all aren't gonna just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? In the Dakota Senate race. It's not gonna happen. Go, go. returning to the Senate. I hate you, you fucking orange pumpkin. You just costed me one of the most important people in my life. My dad. Donald Trump, I hate you. You will never be president again. You bastard, you costed me my dad. My dad was the most important person in the world to me, but now his colors are finally out. I hate you, you fucking orange pumpkin bitch. <laughs> I hate you, you stupid, stupid, failed fucking businessman. <laughs> you fucking sickened me. You and all of your fucking Trump supporters. <laughs> Fuck you. Guys, I just voted, and I chose family. <laughs> end this reign of terror now i chose family i chose women i chose america <laughs> i love you <laughs> we're moving on i'm moving on we're moving on <laughs> i love all of this let's do it <laughs> let's do this i hate to be the person that gets on here and cries <laughs> But this could sp this could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for and like what it means and the bigotry and hatred that they stand behind and how I like am trying to be a good person. I'm not Catholic like they are, which is ironic because isn't like religion supposed to make you love. But I could see it, like, breaking me and my parents apart because they just don't get it. And they don't get that they voted for someone who's going to make my friends' lives hell. My life's okay. I'm a white woman, but my friends are not going to be okay. <laughs> anyone else helping a meltdown i don't know how to do this i don't know how to wait i'm so stressed how you can't look out into the world into the people of this country and see what's happening and how hard we're all fighting for rights not to be taken away from people i go from hysterically crying one minute over the pain of this situation and then hysterically crying the next minute watching so many people come together and women from around the world supporting us and cheering us on i am 48 years old and i have never experienced anything like this and never thought i would in this country it's like it's like i can feel the pain and the fear from every single person. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to get through the next couple days. I, who knows how long this is gonna take. Is anyone else helping a meltdown? I don't know. I hate to be the person that gets on here and cries, but this could, sp this could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for and like what it means and the bigotry and hatred that they stand behind and how I like am trying to be a good person. I'm not Catholic like they are, which is ironic because isn't like religion supposed to make you love. But I could see it like breaking me and my parents apart because they just don't get it and they don't get that they voted for someone who's gonna make my friends lives hell 
my life's okay. I'm a white woman, but my friends are not going to be okay. Well, Donald Trump is now our 47th president of the United States of America. The selection was not even close, which I find odd considering Kamala Harris's rallies. However, how can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump? Personally, I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted enough to delete my ex account. I'm disgusted enough to never order a Tesla as long as I shall live. I want to take this moment to congratulate those of you who voted for Donald Trump, which was the overwhelming majority of Americans. You chose to vote for a dictatorship, and that is what you will get. America is no longer the land of the free. You have chosen, by siding with Donald Trump, to throw our United States Constitution and our United States flag in the garbage. Personally, I am embarrassed. I am ashamed to call myself an American. In fact, I no longer call myself an American. <laughs> like we don't have to freak out we don't have to freak out because it's not even real because bitch freak out the listen kid you can tap it with a hammer it ain't gonna change <laughs> this can't be real this can't be real <laughs> I'm sorry to all my friends who are Trump supporters I don't understand how scared of this man I am don't say a word to y'all because I try to keep politics out of my friendships because I don't want my beliefs and your beliefs to mess up our friendship because that's something to <laughs> This man scares the shit out of me and now he's fucking president. <laughs> can say is how fucking dare you how dare you put this man into office for another four years knowing damn well what it means for our country what it means for us as a people you know damn well what's going to happen what's been happening for the last eight years <sighs> I first gained political consciousness in 2016 when I was 12 years old in seventh grade. I'm 21 years old now. How the fuck is this still happening? All I've ever known politically is hatred. It's all I've ever known. And now it's just going to happen for another four years and every candidate after him is going to be just like him. How fucking dare you? Toenail eating motherfuckers! Fuck you! Fuck you! You fucking lousy failures! Fuck you! Fuck you! Now, Kamala, we know you mad because you ain't win, but bitch, you couldn't even say goodnight! Bitch, you couldn't say thank you, goodnight, fuck y'all, see you later! You talking about you talk to us tomorrow? Bitch, it is! Today is tomorrow! That nigga found out at 11.59 and 59 seconds, bitch. You should have got to send it smoke signals, blinking twice for help, bitch. So, come on, nah. And then you wonder why.
why you ain't win. See, we already knew you was too motherfucking emotional, Kamala. You going off on the motherfuckers at your goddamn campaign, bitch. If you can't run your campaign, you can't run a motherfucking country. Then you done fucked it up for all the bitches that did want to be motherfucking president. At first, we had fucking potential. But, bitch, you too motherfucking emotional. You done ran the fuck off, ain't said nothing to no motherfucking body. You mad at the whole country. Now, there ain't no bitch ever going to be the motherfucking president. And now I'm trying to figure out, is you mad at the bitches that voted for you or is you mad at the motherfuckers that didn't? Because, yeah, you were emotional, but what about the bitch that thought she was going to get an abortion at 24 motherfucking weeks and seven days? And can't do it now, Kamala. Because when that, what you was supporting the, the, have an abortion whenever the fuck you want? Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> very much that. Also, you wanted to appeal to the black people too much. And you're like, oh yeah, for the black man, I'm going to legalize weed. Baby, the weed is already legal. And if it's not, it ain't nothing to take an I and an L off a motherfucking word. Because I'm going to roll that L. Secondly, no shade to Glorilla, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Sexy Red, whoever the fuck she brought up there. Baby, this is a motherfucking campaign. It's not a concert. Okay? It's not a concert, hello? Even, even the motherfuckers that listen to them still thought it's not a con. We rocking and bobbing our head like, yep, this bitch gonna lose. It's 7 p.m. Friday. Bitch, it was Wednesday. And it was about 324. And it wasn't 95 degrees. The weather broke, bitch. It's motherfucking November. All I'm saying is, Kamala, you disrespectful, bitch. You done, you done, you done walked away, it ain't said shit to nobody, bitch. You done left us hanging, bitch. You was the ride. You tried to tell, tell me you done pulled off on us and left us stranded? You done left us so stranded, the nigga Trump up there making motherfucking sense. The nigga making sense. The nigga talking like he got some motherfucking sense. And you motherfucking let him. Kamala, I'm disappointed in you. And that three-piece TikTok wig you be wearing. And them short-ass motherfucking pants and them spiky-ass leprechaun shoes. You, you played in our face. You played in, And bitch, you not president. So I can say what I want to say. I'm mad. I wasn't going to vote for you anyway. But I'm mad. I'm motherfucking mad. You let us down. You motherfucking let us down. You let us down. You might as well hang it the fuck up. We don't want to hear from you tomorrow. You had your motherfucking chance. We was about to motherfucking ride at goddamn midnight. The time it was when the nigga found out he was president. You talk about talk to us tomorrow. Bitch, you talk about Thursday, Friday? You ain't talking about us to the weekend? Bitch, don't no mail run on the weekend. So we gotta wait till Monday? Bitch, ain't that Veterans Day, Tuesday, when? What's well, something like... Girl, you got us fucked up. We don't want to talk to you tomorrow. You're not our president. You didn't let this motherfucker make sense. I wanted to vote for Kanye. Then we didn't believe when you chose the white man. Because, bitch, if you... You got us all confused. You should have let Shamar spoke. You could have let motherfucking... Goddamn Chauncey Billups... I don't know. You... You didn't throw a concert and it ain't like me either. That's the, that's the thing about it. We didn't know you was about to slag Glorilla on stage. Bitch, I would have been there. It's 7 p.m. It's, it's 3.23 Wednesday. It's 82 degrees because it damn show was not a fucking Friday. It might have been, but it don't matter. That wasn't appropriate. It, nothing, nothing, nothing was appropriate that you did. The whole campaign was ratchet as fuck. That's why Trump said the shit was, if she was president, the whole shit was going to be like Detroit. But then you're emotional and you storm off stage and then you don't come back and you leave everybody hanging? Bitch, you got us like a monkey in a tree. That's how you motherfucking portrayed us. Then you want to leave? This is what black people do? We quit? You're not black. We don't quit. And quiet is kept. We never want to motherfucking see you again. Don't talk to us. Don't say shit. Don't send no letters. We don't want no thank yous. Don't. We don't even want to see you sign language and at the bottom of the motherfucking TV. You let us down. Yeah, boy. You are